Scandinavia is one of the richest parts of the world with almost no unemployment, a low crime rate, and everything is clean and nice, and everybody is happy in their pretty little houses. But underneath this perfect surface lies a monster, a beast. Sometimes the beast wakes up and shows its face to the world. The name of the beast is Black Metal. To understand why the Scandinavian black metal scene is so special and literally exploded in the 90s, we have to go back more than a thousand years to a time when the Vikings ruled the north before Christianity was enforced upon the Scandinavian people. I think it's really important to remember the, the evil and brutality that the, the Christians actually, the way they did here in Scandinavia. Especially in Norway, they they slaughtered thousands of people and uh, oppressed them and stole their children. They converted the Vikings to the, the religion Christianity. They came up here and forced us uh, to uh, believe in uh, that shit. And they also, they, they forced us with uh, violence. Forced snakes down people's throats so they uh, were... <laughs> and so many, many crazy things to get people to be Christians, you know. So it's just like pure brutality because of the kings, they wanted to sleep with the Pope in Europe to get more power. So then they enforced the Christianity on the, the normal people up here, you know. We have a great history and our mythology. And not, uh, we, we are not Christians from the start. So, uh, and the source, uh, Thor and Odin is uh, great gods. And and it's uh, much great in the history, if you read about it, um, it's very black metal. Uh, they were more personal in the way that they had contact, uh, when it comes to like, to put it into black metal, it has something to do with the nature, your blood, uh, the feeling around you, if you, I think especially in Scandinavia, especially in Norway, because it's really, you have the dark, it's forest, it's water, it's hard, you know, and you, you get like a, you really feel it in your body when you're in contact with it. If you do it the right way, you have to like put your hands in the ground and like feel the nature where you come from. And then you like, you, when you read Northern mythology, you really like, god damn, you know? Those people, they, uh, they weren't so bad. They had a really good idea about what uh, respect is, honor, especially self-respect. Everybody think that they were just running around killing and raping and being fucking idiots all the time, but they did that when it was necessary. 
Uh, of course, they would pillage some uh, monks and blah 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 and stuff like that. But uh, they, had, when it came to like the normal people, they were like, "If you respect me, I will respect you. If you don't respect me, I don't respect you." Of what life is, but to explain it is like it's massive, you know, and it takes really long time. But uh, that's why I think it has something to do with, especially for me personally in black metal, it's the, <laughs> it's they're so more personal gods. And uh, of course you don't believe in them in the sense, but you believe in the spirit of them, you know, like the heritage of them. You don't walk, I don't walk around and believe anything because I'm <laughs> atheist to the bone. But I, uh, I see things sometimes that I like and it gives me a good vibe, you know, vibration and feeling. The Vikings were seafaring traders, warriors and pirates who raided and colonized wide areas of Europe from the 9th to the 11th century. They were known for being brutal on their crusades. The Viking mythology was based on their own beliefs, their own gods like Thor, the god of thunder, and Odin, the warrior god. I don't know if you say the same thing in English, but in Norway we call it the polytheistic or holy, which means many gods. You have like Jehovah and crap from the Jews, it's like mono. So you have one god that controls absolutely everything. But when it comes to like Northern mythology, I think a lot of us feel more... It fits like the Scandinavian people better, I think. Heathen mythology is a big part of black metal. So are the symbols. The early days of black metal mainly consisted of upside down crosses, goat's heads, and pentagrams. White witches, so to speak, they have it where the point is turning up to eternity, heaven, whatever. This one turns down to me. I am eternity. I am my own god. So that's what it re represents for me. And then the other ones are as we as east west north so but the main thing is that it, instead of pointing up you're supposed to turn to heaven and pray to the god it points to me today we see more and more symbols from the viking and heathen era like the hammer of thor it's a really it's a symbol of a forgotten past you know like uh, the norwegian who walks in the street you know like uh, they don't they, they know as much as uh, <laughs> you know, like they know nothing you know and uh, these symbols are uh, often, uh, I think, uh, when you go with these, you know, like people are oh, Nazi fuck, and, uh, you know, like Hitler and all those guys who use this stuff for that, you know, like for, for yes, for the, for the power, and, yeah. but uh, I don't care, you know, it wasn't theirs in the first place, so people must see behind that, you know, like, uh, it was there a thousand years before that, so... I can't, uh, I can't really... Uh, stand for what the uh, fucking guy did uh, 60 years ago, you know, like, uh, he doesn't own these symbols, and, uh, so... For me it stands for power and nothing else, uh, and, and history, so... I don't because, of course, I don't believe in uh, there is a god up in the sky who cracks his hammer and is, you know, it's not that. A thousand years later, many names, places, and stories from the old Viking mythology can be found within the black metal scene, both as band names, members, and in lyrics. You can even hear old Viking tunes in some black metal. I think that uh, lots of the Norwegian bands have uh, inspirations from folk music.